Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And our so, kitchen. Yeah, in our kitchen. We are in our kitchen. Um, we thought we would do a cooking video tonight because we are going to be making those Amy Lou uh, meatballs that I talked about in one of the recent Costco hauls. Anyway, so if you're interested in hanging out this night and making dinner, then stay tuned and we'll get right into this video. Okay, so we are starting out, we're not cooking yet. Um, my husband is in the background getting our water really hot and trying to thaw out the mashed potatoes um, because we decided like pretty late in the day, it was probably like three o'clock that we decided we wanted to make this meal and also film it so everything was in the freezer. Um, and you can microwave the mashed potatoes but the one time we did that, they were pretty frozen like they are now and they just, they separated really weird. I can't even explain it. They just weren't very good. I guess that's all I can say. So we're going to see if we can thaw them that way because they don't take long to cook. So I'm hoping that while we're doing the meat, they'll kind of thaw a little. And then we're making these Amy Lou um, spinach and red pepper chicken meatballs. We have had them once already, but we didn't film it. And I wanted to film it because I really, especially when we get new things at Costco, I like to film it and kind of review it for you guys. Um, so I really like the Amy Lou brand. Her stuff is paleo, gluten-free, pork-free. Um, I don't think it's always dairy-free, but it is, if you can have dairy, it is on the super healthy side, I feel like. Um, we really like her brand. Costco seems to carry a lot of her stuff. We've tried a few things and we always really like it. Um, the other night we did the chicken cowboy, cowboy chicken burgers, also by her, and we did film that and we reviewed it. So if you haven't watched that, check it out. Um, I will make sure to link it for you guys because we really like them. But yeah, check that review out. So this is what we're doing tonight. I think, well, I don't know how my hubby's going to play his. I'll probably put my meatballs on top of the mashed potatoes and make like a bowl with some barbecue or something or that cheese. Yeah, I don't know because sometimes he likes the stuff separate. But yeah, I think that'll be good. So um, so this, these weren't bad. I can't remember if we paid for them. I, I might look it up and pop the price in here because we bought them about two weeks ago. But I want to think it was like around $12, $13 and you get 60 meatballs. So it's two packs of 30. Um, I want to show you guys, but it's stuck in here because like I said, this stuff was really frozen. There we go. Um, so it is, they're like smaller. Um, so we will go ahead. You probably could open them and like separate them out to containers if you wanted to stretch them. I just cook them all because, well, I just don't want to do all that if I'm being honest. So we'll just break it up into a couple of meals. Um, as we're filming this tomorrow was Friday and it's my husband's payday and at his work when it's payday, they get pizza for everyone. Yep. So we'll probably have quite a few left. So either we'll save them for dinner tomorrow night or it will be my lunch because I'll still need lunch tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what we'll do. Anyway, enough rambling. We're going to set up the meatballs, get them in the pan, and then I will show you guys the process as we get going. Okay, so before we get started, I did want to show you what my husband did for the mashed potatoes. We just filled this side of our sink pretty good with um, hot water, and we're just going to let them chill out in there. We've done that with stuff before, and it works really well. So if you need a hack to defrost something really quick, try this. It works. Okay, so you can't see me. Well, you kind of can. Um, I wanted to kind of do a side angle so you could see what I was doing. I hope that works. I guess we'll see. So, um, you'll probably kind of see my arms and stuff in and out. I wanted to do a side angle um, so you could kind of see what I was doing. Um, I think my husband was going to open the meatballs for me because they're really hard to open. Um, I always like to coat the pan with something. Those don't necessarily stick because it, a lot of the stuff like that that's from Costco is like pre-cooked, just frozen. Um, but I usually just use my Chosen Foods avocado oil spray. We love this. Um, I don't know if it's Costco we saw this out or Target, but probably Costco, but you also can get like a giant bottle of this. And I'm thinking the next time we might grab that because we like use this so much. I think this is our last can too. Yeah. Anyway, so I just usually do, I kind of stand back a little so we're not getting too much because I don't like too much of the greasiness because it makes it a pain to like wash our dishes. So I just lightly coated it. You guys, these smell so good. And then because they're frozen, I'm honestly, sorry, that's noisy. I'm honestly not going to be fragile with it. I'm just going to pop them in there. Um, let me grab, sorry, we have the water running in the background. I need to grab a spatula. This will work. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn the burner on. Sorry, we have gas in our house, gas burners, and it's kind of noisy. 
Um, and then when they're frozen, so I'm gonna show you guys before I do it. So see how they're like, it's like they're all stuck together. Um, even when you, ooh, sorry, that was rough. Even when you thaw them out, they kind of do that. So I'll just take, like I'm just using this little spatula and I kind of lightly just break them apart. Um, don't worry, they won't really break as long as you're gentle with it. Um, they're frozen, so I might wait. I'm gonna get the ones that I can, but I, here we go, that, that works. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let them cook a little because some of these are really, really frozen together. Um, and then I, I'm not sure, let me see what it, the recommended cooking is. I kind of usually just do my own thing. Um, does it have anything on here? Here we go. So it says, oh, so you can do this in the oven. I didn't know that, or the microwave. I wouldn't recommend that. We do stove top usually. Um, it says to coat the pan with all of our canola, canola oil. We do avocado always. Um, saute meatballs on medium to high heat until warm and browned. Okay. Yeah. So you could do the recommended oil, I guess, if you wanted. I don't know. We always do avocado. We don't really even buy. I need a different spoon. This is not working for me. Um, we don't really buy olive oil, honestly. We haven't bought olive oil in a while. Um, we just, I'm a fan of avocado oil. I really hope I don't get grease on myself. The hubby stepped in to help me separate them. So that is what they look like. Yeah, they're cooking. Okay, so we're just chilling at our kitchen table while everything cooks. Um, so the package does say um, to cook the meatballs on like medium to high heat. I just have them simmering on low because we're trying to get those mashed potatoes thawed out. So we're just gonna chill, let them do their thing. We're literally right by the oven or the stove yeah. so we can keep an eye on it. Um, so yeah. I mean, we're right by the oven too. We're just not using it. We're not. Um, so we're filming a couple videos, um, as we're filming, it's Thursday night right now. We're going to film a couple videos tonight if we can get it done and it's not too late, um, because we have family coming into town for the weekend. So we're not going to get like any of our filming done. And we're really trying to keep with at least two to three videos a week because we are a newer channel. And so we're trying to like keep our content up. So yeah, so tonight we're going to be working on some ASMR videos. If you guys have not seen our very first one, check it out. It was a little raw because we didn't have a backdrop yet or anything. I didn't have my Yeti set up yet. No, so it was just like now we have our setup. We went and bought a curtain. We got a really nice blackout curtain at Goodwill for $3.50, you guys. Mm -hmm. Literally, we rounded up, so it was 4 bucks. Um, And it's like a really pretty gray color that matches our room, but it's the nice blackout, so it's a very sleek background. Um, so we got that hung. So the videos coming up should be more official looking, I guess. So yeah, so he's doing Minecraft. He started with Minecraft. Um, he also has Minecraft stories that he wrote. So I think we're going to do like something cool with that. Um, yeah, yeah. I love ASMR. And so my husband was like, well, we should do ASMR. And so he loves gaming. Um, so we're going to kind of take that route. Yeah. Um, and then, like I said, throw in his Minecraft story. So tonight we're filming two new ASMR videos. So be on the lookout for all of that content. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to do the gaming videos anyway, but I don't want to be super loud. So uh, the ASMR angle for it just kind of made sense. And Minecraft is perfect because like when I edited the first video he did, y'all, there are really good triggers in Minecraft. Like, are, yeah, like when it rains. Or like when he's dropping blocks, like there's just a lot of sounds that are like oh, so good for anyone who understands ASMR. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're excited. So, so the mashed potatoes actually thawed really well that way. They probably only sat in there for like not even 10 minutes. So that's a hack for you. If you've never tried it, it works pretty well. Um, so these are the mashed potatoes. We get, we just get them at Costco. They're, um, Main Street Bistro, made with fresh potatoes and whole milk. No artificial, artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Preservatives. I cannot talk tonight. And you get two of them. Yeah. So, I'm going to walk over here and check on my meatballs. So, we had them on low. Um, but we have a gas stove, so they heat pretty quickly. Um, so, I have it on about two, between two and three. And I don't know if you can hear it sizzling, but they're cooking really well. Um, we don't necessarily always wait for them to be like perfectly brown because like I said, these are already cooked. They're just cold. So it's not like they're raw or anything. So yeah, we have everything finishing up. And then when it's plated, we will show you what it looks like. Yeah. Y'all, these mashed potatoes are taking forever. Too long. Too long. 
There's like one part on the top that's just like frozen. Yeah, well, it's the part that was in the center, which yeah. you expect to still be. So frozen, there's so. an, we have like a newer, we just got a microwave pretty recently, and there's a button on it that just says potato, and it auto I don't know, and it auto <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Because I think it's for a real potato, not like mashed potatoes. But Whatever, a potato is potato. Home, so. Um, so we tried that. I hope it defrosts because now it's almost 7 o'clock and we're really hungry. And we yeah. still have other filming right. we have to do. And we're just, more. we want some dinner. Good. Yeah, so hopefully potato fixes our dinner for us. Let's hope so. <laughs> okay, so there it is plated, looks yummy. So let me flip it around and we're gonna taste it for you guys. So we're gonna each get a bite ready. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of meatball and some. Um, so we did add a little bit of cheese on top of the mashed potatoes just to make it good. We're not gonna do sauce or anything because the meatballs are really flavorful as well as the mashed potatoes. So here's a bite, bon appetit. Mm, it's good. Yeah. It's really good together. Um, the red pepper and stuff and the meatballs, it has like a minor kick. If you're like me and you're a wimp, he'd probably be like, oh, they're mild. Yeah. I don't even know that there's peppers in there. <clears throat> there's red pepper in there. There's something that has a like a minor, minor kick. So I feel like the mashed potatoes kind of round everything out. It's really, really mm -hmm. good. Yeah. So yeah. If you guys have a Costco, um, check it out and I'll do like I did in the cowboy chicken burger video. I will also link the Amy Lou, the Amy Lou website because I'm pretty sure there's a locator on there. So if you don't have a Costco, I'm sure you can like order it, find stores around you that sell her stuff. I really like all her products and they're all like organic, super, super clean, but like affordable. That's one of the reasons I love Costco's. You can get like gluten-free organic there on a budget. Like you don't have to have a ton of money to afford it. So yeah. Anyway, like I said, I'll have the link below for everything that we cooked with. Um, I'll try to link the mashed potatoes if I can find those. I know Target sells them, or I'm pretty sure Target sells them. I have seen them at Publix. So again, a lot of the stuff you don't have to have a Costco membership to buy. That's just where we shop. So anything you want to add? No. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that cooking slash food review. We This is a type of video we do often. We just like to share our cooking um, cause we eat at home a lot because yep. we are on a budget and so we rarely go out. So this is our food review is kind of cooking different things we buy and trying different things with it and letting you guys know what we think about what we made. Yeah. So yeah, with all of that being said, remember you, you can, can call us the Kents. Kent. See you later guys. Right.